building up a power end, um, replacing the shaft kit, and we'll uh, do the uh, S-built checks along the way. I'm just setting up now to um, check the end play, which is the first check we generally do, uh, and be sure that it's in, in our tolerance and in our spec. And it's less than one, which is very good. Next, I will check shaft run out off of the bearing frame. I may be sure that that is in tolerance as well. And this one as well has very minimal run out, less than one thousandth. The torque is very crucial and it is uh, only 20 pounds of torque. Um, the gasket is just a thin rubber membrane um, that without enough torque, without the, a proper torque could easily come out of place. Uh, and create a leak. If you over torque it, there's a small raised ridge on the flange, uh, a small raised flange up there. And, and that's really the sealing area of it. Um, if you over torque these bolts, you could cause distortion in the frame adapter itself or some pull on the, on the bearing frame and or uh, pinch or uh, extrude this rubber seal. There again, you'd have a leak or an improper fit if you uh, warped it. Okay, I had previously dropped it on and aligned it partially onto the pins and got the bolts started. Ran the bolts up just to snug, just to bump. So we can then come back and set the pins, which will ensure a proper lineup. back and verify our torques. And then I'll go around one more time. And then that spec will be noted on the belt sheet. After the frame adapter has been installed, aligned, and properly torqued, we'll check the runout on the frame adapter itself. Our tolerance on this is five. Negative one, negative two, back up to zero. Negative one, negative two. All right, so we have two thousands run out on the frame adapter, which is well within tolerance. I've slid the shaft seal on and then lubed the seals on the, on the O-rings on the mechanical seal, slid that over the, um, over the shaft sleeve to make sure I've got the alignment correct and uh, it's positioned in the, in the right orientation. These cartridge type mechanical seals are very, very expensive, very, very precision uh, parts. So they really have very little tolerance uh, for, for anything being out of spec. That's why our, our shaft tolerances, our runouts, our impeller balance, et cetera, is so critical to maintain the uh, integrity of this mechanical seal and ensure long life. So then we will take the, uh, after the seal is, is just slid into place, we'll take the stuffing box and uh, very gently slide it down to make sure that our orientation again is correct and set it into place. With the seal, mechanical seal slid over the sleeve and you drop, I drop the stuffing box on there, aligning the bolts up with the flanges in the seal, starting the bolts and bringing the seal up, not tight, but just bring it up till it meets the stuffing box. Tighten the stuffing box down, and now we'll check the run out on the stuffing box. Well, our spec is five thousandths. I got about three. And back to 
this here. So we've got about 4,000 run out on the stuffing box, um, which is intolerance. So we can go ahead and uh, continue our assembly.